This is Herman Brooks. Herman is just like the rest of us. Every day he has to make all kinds of decisions. Like what to wear, whom to date, and when to panic. Now, these decisions should be easy, but if you take a look inside Herman's head, you'll see why he sometimes has trouble making up his mind. I'm Herman's intellect. Without me, he couldn't hold his job, pay his rent, or tie his shoes. I'm Herman's sensitivity. Without me, he wouldn't feel tenderness, honesty, or love. The good things in life. Oh, I'm Herman's anxiety, and I keep him out of trouble. And believe me, there's trouble everywhere. I'm Herman's lust. Without me, he'd miss out on all the good stuff. You know, fun, food, babes. Sometimes they agree. Usually they don't. But this struggle is going on inside all of us. And it's all going on inside Herman's head. So last night was Mona, who, by the way, lived up to her name. That is Chastity, who better not live up to her name. Morning, Mrs. Peebles. Oh, hey, Mrs. Peebles. And see back there. And tomorrow is Ursula the cop, who comes with her own handcuffs and billy club. That's the night I resist arrest. Did it ever occur to anyone that Jay has a problem? Yes, I think he's obsessed with sex. Thank God he's obsessed with sex. It'll keep his mind off his problem. Then a week from next Thursday, I got Naomi. Very good chance of horizontitude. Easy, Jay. What? Well, the sex may be turning into a problem. The hell has a problem with too much sex? I do. <laughs> it's a genuine addiction. I was hooked for years. Had to have it five times a day. <laughs> I finally had to go cold turkey. I got a bad ticker. The doctor said if I kept up that pace, kapowie, I could go out with a bang and a whimper. <laughs> oh, well, have a good one. Well, there you go. And there I go. Think I'm addicted to sex? Hey, they say it's possible. What's possible? I can't believe you'd buy into that. Buy into what? The whole concept. This laughable. I can use a laugh. Maybe, but Mrs. Peebles takes the concept pretty seriously. Mrs. Peebles from accounting? I'm a middle-aged accountant doing it five times a day is a serious concept. <laughs> Research. Hi, Herman. It's Louise. What the hell are you guys talking about? <laughs> Louise, this is not your problem. Okay, so you admit it's a problem. Ah, oh, come on, Jay. Problems are my specialty. You name it, I've had it. What's ailing you? Herman thinks I'm a sex addict. Can't help you. <laughs> Look, Jay, don't get me wrong. I'm all for sex. Sex is great, but I think you have a problem. Wait a minute. So you have sex with lots of women. What do you get out of it? Sex with lots of women. <laughs> what do they get out of it? Sex with me. Well, you don't have a problem at all. They have the problem. <laughs> You want to tell me what this coffee clutch is all about? Um, uh, Herman thinks Jay's a sex addict. Jay doesn't buy it, and Mrs. Peebles gets it five times a day. Sweet little Mrs. Peebles from accounting. Herman, I'm surprised at you for spreading that kind of rumor. By the way, I belong to a support group for sex addicts. We meet every Thursday. Drop by. Just to talk about your problem. Hello, Paul. That suit fits you very well. <laughs> Can I talk to the two of you out in the hall, please? Five times a day and she's still in accounting? Mrs. <laughs> Peebles, there seems to be a misunderstanding. I am not a sex addict. I'm a guy. You see the difference? <laughs> could you go a full day without sex? Of course I could. We're talking about sex with somebody else, right? <laughs> Jay, you have to admit, sex is the focus of your life. It's not the focus of my life. It... <laughs> it's a large part, yes. <laughs> Hang on one sec. Oh, dear. He has a serious problem. Well, I don't know if it's serious yet. I do know if Jay goes three days without a woman, he gets the shakes. <gasps> Bad, huh? <gasps> well, I think you might be overreacting slightly. <laughs> Mrs. Peebles? <laughs> Oh, swell, it's a heart attack. Oh, come on, we know CPR. Let's give her mouth to mouth. Mouth to mouth, I'm your man. Someone call 911. 
Come on, Mrs. Peebles, breathe. Breathe. Ah! Mrs. Peebles, can you hear me? Oh, thank God. Herman, don't encourage her. <laughs> But Herman, you actually saved her life. Well, it was just a natural reaction, Louise. You know, it was just lucky I took that CPR course back in Ohio. And that's your problem. The New York CPR is different. Here, you bend down, tilt their head back, and gently ask, Have you promised your apartment to anyone? <laughs> now go off to Jenna. Herman, I'm sorry I misread what was going on out there with Mrs. Peoples. What you did was extraordinary, son. Mr. Waterton himself just called to say you should be rewarded. That's not necessary. Those were my words, exactly. <laughs> Nonetheless, I'm proud of what you did, but not surprised. That's the kind of young man you are. God, I hate it when she gets a swelled head. <laughs> Herman, I heard you saved Mrs. Peebles' life, man. Nice going. Yeah, well, someone had to do it. Hey, where'd you go, anyway? Oh, I, uh, got lucky with that girl in the green dress. Get you later. Well, well, Jay, but you already... Yeah. Where? In the coffee room. Someone just started circulating these ten bucks and has a picture of your butt. I can't believe this. Oh, well, she's right, Herm. That's my fanny. See a little mole? And you don't have a problem, huh? No. Look, Herm, I'm practicing safe sex. I'm not hurting anyone. And this was done on recycled paper. Hey, do what you want. Just remember, any habit can turn into a sickness. Herman, Lou Gehrig's disease is a sickness. What do you call enjoying lots of sex? Wilt Chamberlain's disease. <laughs> Stacy Pal, a little envious. I'll catch you later. He's in total denial. We have to help him. What can we do for him? We can encourage him to get involved in that sex addict support group. Hey, what are we talking about? We're talking about making Jay join a group that's going to stop him from having lots of sex. <laughs> <laughs> Not really. What are we talking about? Jay, all I'm saying is going to the sex addicts group couldn't hurt. Oh, Herman, don't bother Jay. Can't you see he's perfectly happy? Thank you, Louise. And he'll lead a perfectly happy life. He will continue to use one woman after another and throw them out like so much old fruit. And in the end, he'll be another lonely, saggy, single guy with nothing to show for his life except some memories. And even those will fade. That's where you're wrong, Louise. I got pictures. <laughs> you're pathetic. Okay, okay. When is this? sex support thing tomorrow night hell i'll even go with you fine i'll do it but it's so stupid herm i don't need help and every day i still fight the urge to grab a total stranger and have relentless filthy sex with him <laughs> thank you for helping me herman <laughs> obviously this obsession puts a serious strain on your work well, yes, I'm an attorney, and sometimes I can't concentrate in court. I'm too busy having erotic fantasies about every man in the room. Remind me to go settle that traffic ticket. <laughs> Try to take this seriously, will ya? <laughs> we have hit the mother line! <laughs> That's all I wanted to say. Thank you. Who'd like to go next? Yes, what would you like to discuss? Well, actually, I'd like to get back to her problem. <laughs> These fantasies of yours, are they limited to men in the legal profession, or do you ever find yourself thinking about doing it with, say, uh, writers? I don't know. I guess I could. Have you ever done a human sandwich? Jay, I think you're missing the point. <laughs> actually, I have. Really? Were you the bread or the meat? <laughs> Would one of you care to stand and speak? Yes, glad to, glad to. Um, my name is... Excuse me, but in this program, we prefer not to use our names. Oh, okay, uh, I'll just use my first initial. I'm Jay. <laughs> my, my phone number is 
212-555. What would you like to discuss? Well, I also find that I need sexual gratification constantly. Um, I wish I didn't. God, I wish I didn't. Um, I... I just, uh... I need help. You know? Jay. Jay, knock it off. Are you all right? Oh, just a little mishap. I suffered a slight heart attack at work a few days ago. Oh, luckily I was standing with a young man who gave me CPR. He broke a couple of ribs, but he saved my life. And here he is, folks. This is him. This is the guy who saved her life. Oh, great. Now they know our face and everyone in this room thinks we're a sexual deviant, too. It is better to be known as a deviant than never to have known deviants at all. <laughs> Herman, you came. Jay came. This is for him. I, I'm I'm not oversexed. I'm not undersexed. I'm perfectly sexed. And, I, and I'm just here to help. Why don't we take a short break and reconvene in ten minutes? Hi, Herman. How's it going? Hey, please, what are you doing here? I'm having a meeting down the hall with my virgin support group. <laughs> want to play us in volleyball after their meeting. <laughs> the agoraphobics didn't show. How's Jay doing? Well, I got him here. From now on, he's on his own. Four times a day? That's terrible. Have you made your quota yet? <laughs> oh, well, Herman. I guess getting Jay to cut out sex was kind of a lost cause. Yeah, I suppose. So why are you doing this for him? Well, I don't know, Louise. I've just always believed if you do something for someone else, it might come back around in the end. Oh. Here you are, Herman. Danielle and I were just talking about what you did to me. <laughs> Please, it was nothing. Well, she doesn't think so. Oh, really? That's right. I've advised my client to sue you for breaking her ribs. Well, I... She seems like such a nice lady. She is a nice lady. She just got coerced by a sleazy lawyer. But you were saving her life. What does that lawyer think she could sue you for? Anyone could sue anyone for anything, Louise. If you wanted, you could sue me for, for having blonde hair. On what grounds? Fraud. <laughs> I hope she reams you. Serves you right for being too stupid to look the other way. What are you saying? I should have let her die? Herman, how many times do I have to tell you? This is New York, not Ohio. Watch this. Take another ice tea when you get a chance. Comprende? I'll take a burger, a medium rare, and a beer. Hey, guys. Hi, Jay. How's the sex addict group going? It's going well. Very well indeed. I mean, I only started it yesterday, but I am proud to announce that I haven't had sex in 12 hours. You had sex after the meeting last night? <laughs> No, I slept with a woman from your virgin support group. I think her name was Denise? Not Denise. She was my lab partner. It's no big deal, Louise. It was over like that. Oh. Well, at least her first time was special. <laughs> and you call this going very well. I'd hate to see you on a binge. Herman, when are you going to learn? Stay out of other people's problems. You're only going to get burned. Look, I am not going to get burned, Eddie. And I'll tell you something else. I am not going to get sued. Now, I still believe there are a lot of decent people around, and Mrs. Peebles is one of them. So if you want to be a jaded New Yorker, fine. That's you. That is not me. That's him. Dear God, she's suing me for all I've got. That does it. Today, we are a New Yorker. Hey, hey, watch hey, it. You... I'm standing here. I'm standing here. How the degrees in this freaking brain? Who are you calling a mook? <laughs> yeah, is this Narboni and Flug legal advice at a cozy price? Good, I want to... 
No, I haven't lost a limb or a digit, but I do have a finger right here for you. Now, just put a lawyer on the phone. Herman, line two. It's Evelyn from the PBS station returning your call. Hello, Evelyn. Just a couple of weeks ago, I phoned in a pledge for $10. Well, you're not getting it, babe. And I'm keeping the free tote bag. <laughs> hey, what is the holdup? It's so weird seeing Herman be a typical New Yorker. Oh, yeah, he really sells it. Kind of like watching Akron Community Theater do good fellas. Fine, Mr. Plug, you're hired. Yeah, that's right. Be in my deposition tomorrow at 10 o'clock. What do you mean all fees up front? What's your fee? What? You call that price cozy, you bottom-feeding son of a bitch? You're fired. <laughs> Hey, this is kind of fun. Herman. Later, Louise. I think you're taking Hetty's advice too literally. Buzz off, will you? Hey, I'm cute as a button. Don't talk to me like that. I'm sorry, Louise. I'm a little tense, okay? I've never been sued before. Don't worry, Herman. Mrs. Peebles isn't going to get anything from you. You aren't worth Disney. Hey, Herman. Oh, Jay, I need you to... What's with the lollipops? Oh, it's to help take my mind off my problem. I'm supposed to pop one of these in my mouth every time I feel the urge to have sex. <laughs> Why do you have two in your mouth? I just passed those twins for marketing. <laughs> Look, I want you to give a deposition for me tomorrow. Ten o'clock, out in the hall where it all happened. Ten o'clock, gotcha. <laughs> so, what time do you want me to be there? Ten, Jay. I'll be there, buddy. If I'm, uh, late... I'm not the dentist. Come on. I have to change around some shelves in my office. You want to step inside and give me a hand? Who do I look like? Bob Vila? <laughs> Pardon? Suppose I help you put up the shelves. Then suppose they crash down on your body so it's mangled and crushed beyond recognition. How do I know you won't sue me? Huh? Huh? Okay, calm down. Don't let this lawsuit rattle you. Right, calm down. Now, do you have a lawyer? I just fired him, the blood-sucking piece of sewage doing bourbon! Easy! Wait a minute, Mr. Bracken, you know some law, don't you? Well, I don't like to brag, but I know everything. <laughs> okay, what number am I thinking? Seven. <laughs> everything. Oh, forget it. I'll be my own lawyer. Herman, you're going to need a clear thinker, and judging from the foam around the corners of your mouth, you don't really qualify. I'm sorry, Mr. Bracken. Please be my lawyer. Well, I'd be glad to, Herman. Nineteen. Oh. <laughs> simply ask you what happened, and you answer me in plain English. And don't worry. This is a deposition, not a trial. Right. And then again, I'm a fact checker, not a lawyer. You may get your ass kicked. <laughs> Hello, Jay. You're looking very dapper this morning. Here. Suck on this. <laughs> Hi, remember me? I'm Jay. I'm the... I'm glad to see you're working on your problem. I tried, Herman. I really tried, but I have to accept it. I'm a pig who sleeps with lots of women. I stop sleeping with lots of women, and I'm just a pig. <laughs> All right, let's get started. Now, we're having this deposition here so that, if need be, we can recreate the alleged act exactly as it happened. Oh, boy, can I play Herman? <laughs> Louise, Herman is playing Herman. Why does he always get to play Herman? <laughs> Now, Mrs. Peebles, explain, if you will, what happened on the morning of August 8th. Well, I was standing right there, talking with Herman, when I felt a pain in my chest. And what happened next? Well, my next recollection is of Herman placing his mouth on mine in a deep, penetrating kiss. That's a lie. Then he began to fondle my chest. Another lie. Then he broke three ribs. Well, you got me there. <laughs> Thank you, Mrs. Peebles. We'll now hear the testimony of Jay Nichols. Yeah! <laughs> Jay, tell us what transpired on the morning in question. 
Sure. Mrs. Peebles had a heart attack, then Herman gave her mouth-to-mouth, -mouth, then chest compression, and that seemed to do the trick. And where were you when this happened? Uh, by that time, I was in the coffee room getting collated. <laughs> then how could you have witnessed it? I didn't witness it. Then how do you know what happened? Herman told me. <laughs> if he says it happened, I believe him. I said he was a friendly witness. I forgot he was also a stupid one. <laughs> We'll now hear the testimony of Herman Brooks. Herman, Herman, he's our man and he can do it. Brooks! <laughs> I'm going to send you to your desk. We're sorry, Mr. Bracken. <laughs> Herman, tell us what happened in your own words. Well, all right, all right. I think it's best if you let me present our case logically, calmly, and with dignity. You make me sick. Sick! You keel over with a heart attack. I save your life, and this is how you repay me. I didn't have to give you mouth to mouth. I didn't want to give you mouth to mouth, but I did it anyway. Oh, Herman. Oh, well, yeah, yeah, fine. Don't believe me. But let me tell you something, ladies and gentlemen of the jury. Herman, there is no jury. Oh, can I play, ladies and gentlemen of the jury? Louise! <laughs> let me tell you one thing. I'd think twice before I took the word of a raging sex maniac! <laughs> Oh, no. Oh, let her die. Let her die. It's obviously God's will. No, we have to save her. We have to give her the Heimlich. Quick, grab her from behind. All right. <laughs> oh. oh. Oh, Herman. What would I do without you? You'd die, Mrs. Peebles. <laughs> That's true. Oh, I'm sorry for what I put you through. Thank you for saving my life, Herman. I'm going to tell my lawyer to drop the lawsuit. Herman, you're just going to have to face it. You're a good guy. Oh, thank you, Mr. Brackett. Can I have the day off? No. <laughs> but you said I was a good guy. You are. I, however, am a son of a bitch. <laughs> you take half an hour. Let me get this straight. I'm the meat? <laughs> You're just moments away from the series premiere of the comedy Entertainment Weekly called one of the best debut shows of the year, Flying Live. And Wednesday, when Brenda spills secrets about the gang, she could lose every friend she has on an all-new 90210, followed by an all-new Melrose Place. Stay tuned for Flying Glide.